Hey, that looks right. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and unfortunately the rumor that you can solve the Morse code step 100% guaranteed without guessing and checking does not actually work. So this has been debunked. No Thumbscrew and I have tried this in several games and unfortunately the theory just didn't add up. Now something strange did happen when I first tried this in one of my early attempts. The Cronorium gave me the numbers 661 and if we follow the theory correctly Correctly, we're gonna to want to add those numbers together so we get 13 and we're gonna to want to enter that number 13 as our input on this Morse code translator site and as you can see with our input it's gonna tell us the amount of short clicks and long clicks we have to enter the period represents a short click while the dash represents a long click now I don't know if this is just a strange coincidence but the output actually worked and it worked perfectly except it only took about seven 75% of the entire output, which means it didn't require us to put in all of the clicks that the output is showing us. So at first I was thinking, you know what? This might make sense. Cherk patched this step a couple of months ago and made it easier, which means you're not required to put in as many clicks as you had to back at launch. So I thought, you know what? Maybe this is still the way that we solve this, except you don't have to put in the entire answer, maybe just most of it, thanks to their recent patch. And the reason they patched it was because people were complaining that it was too hard, that the code was too long, and they figured, you know, we don't know how to actually solve this when 100% guaranteed without guessing and checking so let's just give them a way to get it a little bit easier since they are guessing and checking and aren't doing this directly that was my theory at first but then when we hopped into other games this didn't actually work so I'll put another clip on screen where I got the numbers 884 from the Cronorium and when you add those numbers together you get the number 20 but as you can see the output that it gives me on the website does not match the output that the Morse code clicker actually actually wants. So I'm not sure how this works exactly, but I could confirm for you guys that No Thumbs and I are currently looking at all possible combinations, we're testing the equations, we're getting dozens and dozens of different combinations of numbers and trying to match uh, some of these combinations of numbers with the actual outputs that it's giving us in game. And we haven't figured out exactly how this works yet, but we definitely do want to figure this out because it does help out a lot with speedrunning the main Easter egg, with getting this done really efficiently on solo. I guess I'll be lugging this around for a while. Feeling a little light in the magazine here. And it's just good to know because we don't think Treyarch would actually want us to guess and check. We do think there is some type of a hint around the map or some type of direct method into solving the Morse code without having to sit there and test out short clicks and long clicks. But I'll put a couple more clips on screen showing you how this doesn't work. But for those of you that do get the number 13 in your game when you add up your three Cronorium numbers, we obviously do have the answer thanks to the Morse code translator site. But the other numbers do not work work when you enter them in on the website i'm not sure why that is and once again we are going to figure this out unfortunately this did kind of ruin the mood for the video i was thinking of making because it was going to be huge for speedrunners, for solo players. It was going to be very exciting to know that there is a way to actually do this without guessing and checking. But once again, we do believe there is a way to do this. We just have to figure out what the correlation is between the Cronorium numbers and the actual output that you have to enter in your game. But check out the No Thumbs crew down below in the description. They've been doing some great work lately studying all these zombie maps within Black Ops 4. And we can't wait to work together again in the near future. But this is Medike Dynamite. I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest information on the Morse code steps as I do care, even if other people don't, about getting this step done a lot quicker. Feeling a little light in the magazine here.